And I should mention also that there is a secure password generator as part of LastPass, as part of the plugins. Um, you can customize it a little bit. You can tell it how long you want your passwords to be. You can say, I want it to be, I want uppercase A through Z, lowercase A through Z, the digits. I want to allow or not allow special characters. I want to require a certain number of digits to be in every one of these, which gives you maybe a little more security. Um, and also, of course, you're able to specify the length anywhere from three to 100 characters. Well, don't use 100 characters. Um, first of all, many sites won't accept a 100-character password. I would say, and I thought about this for a while, 10. Yeah, I was going to ask you. This is a great question. Yeah, I would say 10, 10. 10 is enough. If, there, if it's random, it's upper, lower, punctuation, and numbers. Yes. If you were to use, well, I even without special characters, the, I'm a little hesitant about special characters because some sites will, like, barf a little bit if you use, you know, funky, random, you know, circumflexes and tildes right. and vertical bars and things. So, so, let, so let's return again to upper and lower case, which gives us 52, the, the digits, which gives us... 62. Well, 62 is not quite 64. It's obviously too short of 64. Well, that happens to be, don't ask me why I know this, 5.94 binary bits of equivalent strength. Not quite six bits, <laughs> 5.94. one of those random things you just have yeah, in mind, Something that it? you cryptographers know. So if we take 5.94, and I got my calculator in front of me, we multiply that by 10. Oh, well, that was easy. Why did I multiply? <laughs> Why did I get my calculator? That's 59.4. Uh, oh, I know why I got it. It's for the next operation. 59.4 bits, equivalent bits of binary strength. And so if we raise 2 to the power of 59.4, uh, I didn't do it. 2 to the power do you have a calculator in front of you? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course. It's my beloved HP. Oh, I hit, I hit, I meant the swap. Have you so tried, completely off purpose, go ahead and keep typing. Have you tried any of the iPad calculators? There's, a, there's one called 42 that's really that's, got. That's the, one, that's the one I have. It's awesome. I love, I yeah. love 42. Yeah. Of course, we know why it's called 42. We do. Also. It's the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Okay, so here we have uh, a 10 character password using only upper and lower case and the digits with 5.94 <laughs> binary bits of strength per character gives us 7.6 times 10 to the 17th <laughs> possibilities. That's a lot. <laughs> 7.6 times 10 to the 17th. I think that's the number of stars in the galaxy or something that like that. That's a large a number. Yes, and this is they're, they're randomly chosen. They're gibberish. I would say no reason to go any stronger. You can if you want, but but someday you might find yourself, for whatever reason, needing to type one of these in manually. For example, um, the oh, did I mention that all of this is free? Um, there is a paid version. I mentioned at the beginning. I pay a buck a month, but everything you've said so far, except for maybe the database dump. No, it's the it's the it's the mobile stuff. Mobile stuff's Their, not mo free. The mobile browser stuff is what they charge for. They have said that they're going to reserve the right to put ads somewhere. Um, like uh, some of their stuff is web based, where you 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 end up using a, a secure web page, for example, to view your vault. You're able to view it locally, also. You, uh, the, the the browser plugins uh, open it up. In fact, on and Firefox is it's Chrome colon slash slash and then the path to the file w w which they provide. So by the way, ten to the seventeenth, it's the number of meters in a in a light year. No kidding. I'm just looking up orders of magnitude. Very cool. And it is roughly, it's a little less than the number of stars in the uh, galactic arm. Okay, that ought to do it. Yeah. <laughs> 7.6 times 10 to the 17th. Good luck guessing that, FBI. Anyway. Um, so. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I, 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 uh, the, we were talking about no, the free so, stuff. What's free? What's paid? And the mobile yes, is the so, mobile. Yeah. So the stuff you pay for. So conceivably, they could put some ads somewhere. I haven't run across any yet. 
and they've said they will be tasteful, you know, little Google text style ads. I mean, these seem to be great people from from everything I've seen. And I've 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 got some of the questions that I had answered through some email exchange, and they've been also very responsive. Um, so it's the the mobile stuff that you pay for. So the 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 mobile versions of the applets, but all of the browser based stuff. All of the re- regular browser, I mean, like like phone mobile is, is, is what I meant, is free, as is the iPad Touch. Uh, the iPad tabbed uh, system is free. Um, uh, let's see, premium. Oh, they, they do have, we, we'll, we'll be talking about uh, one-time passwords in a second. And YubiKey because, support and yes, all that stuff. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Um, but you know so, the real reason I pay them a buck a month? Because it's cheap and it supports the further development of the yes, program. These, these guys deserve it. I, I don't mean, pay them is... for the for the additional features. I pay them because they deserve it. Yes, exactly. So my point was that I have the I have the black the last pass BlackBerry app on my BlackBerry. I my BlackBerry now contains an encrypted copy of my master database, and if I ever need to log in somewhere. Where I have, where I have nothing with me but my phone. Well, first of all, a- anything I'm logging into is a browser. So any browser that I encountered, I could use a bookmarklet in order to log in. That's how I do it on the iPad, by the way, that, yes. and, and the iPhone. That really works well. Yeah, and, and it just works perfectly. Yeah. It fills in the form for you. It's like, oh, well, off you go. It's kind of neat. Uh, it's very cool. It's yeah. like magic. It's hard to believe. It's like, yeah. yeah, I'm so spoiled now. Don't so, tell Steve it's using JavaScript. Yeah, we'll be talking about that in a minute, actually. We're, okay. <laughs> um, uh, so so I would have my phone with me. So there I have the ability to authenticate to my phone locally. That is using the, the my, without any, without any connection, I give my phone my LastPass username, which is my email address, and my, my LastPass password that unlocks for, you know, in there... The, the copy that my that the, my BlackBerry has, and I can look up my username and password for any of the sites in that database and unlock my own private note vault of stuff that, you know, that, that I want to like for, for copying, pasting or whatever, because they also support this idea of, of, of notes. And remember, they do form fill in. I have had it successfully now populate um, several different e-commerce uh, sites that I went to with my credit card information. I I I know LastPass only has an encrypted form, and this decryption happens on the fly in the browser using JavaScript or or with it where there's a plugin present. You you know in code in the plugin, so it's secure. So so because it's conceivable that I might need to manually type the password in ten characters which we've seen is 7.6 times 10 to the 17th possible combinations, that's feasible for me to read off the screen of my iPhone or my, my BlackBerry and manually type in uppercase A, lowercase Z, zero, two, uppercase Q, lower, you know, and so forth, and be able to log in. So that's covered. However, we want to make sure that that we've, so so what we've done is we've, We've concentrated a huge amount of value into our LastPass authentication because authenticating with LastPass now literally unlocks the keys to our kingdom. So how is that made safe? Well, it's made safe through several techniques that we've talked about um, in the podcast um, in the past. Um, They support something very much like my own perfect paper passwords. They call it the grid. And using the, when you log into LastPass and authenticate, you can have them generate a, for you, a random grid, which is A through Z and maybe it's zero through nine. I think that's all it is. It's, and it's very much, they, they liken it to Battleship. 